Jessie B. Scrapbooking back with another process video. This one is for 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life, Day 12. And it is for Scrap 5 Challenge. So, um, here is the sketch I'm going to be working off of for Christie's Beautiful Life. It is a sketch by Laura uh, Wattic Whitaker. Sorry. And... The scrap 5 challenge is I have to use a cut file, wood pieces, ribbon, um, stickers, five or more, and a technique that intimidates you. So that's going to be fun. Here's my cut file. It's going to be my title, or part of my title. It just says happy. I cut it out on my Cricut. Um, I can't remember if I made this one or if it's just one I found. Here are the two pictures. I'm going to be doing this one for sure. I might add this one in. I'm not exactly sure yet. And the technique I'm going to try is putting some uh, paste through a stencil in the background and just see how it works. Um, yeah, I don't know. I've only done it once before and it didn't turn out so good. So we're going to try it again. That's all for now. Let's get going. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is my um, mixed media part. And I'm just using, um, this is Crayola glue in a colored, it's just a colored Crayola glue. I got it at the Dollar Tree. And it works just like a glaze. And you just pour it onto your... Um, stencil rub it through and let it dry and I like the way it turns out um, I get a little messy with my mixed media and I'm just using um, one of those um, I think it's a Harbor Freight kind of like membership card that you never actually use because everything's done by your phone number and so I had it and I said oh I might as well just use it and it worked perfect so here I am just scraping this glue through. Um, it is not perfect. I don't line it up perfect. Um, I do end up having like a line between the two. But for what I want to do with it, it works great. So there we go. Um, I set that aside to dry. Now I'm taking another piece of white cardstock. And I am just adding um, lines where I'm going to put that um, uh, mixed media in the corners. So I'll remember not to um, glue anything down there. And I'm going to go ahead, while that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and build my two clusters. My photo cluster and then my top um, right corner cluster and I'm going to use the same paper pad I used for um, I do believe it was yesterday's and because this is actually the same um, same day same um, bow shoot and um, yeah so I wanted it to kind of flow into the next I don't always do that but this time I decided it'd be fun I um, I'm just using the scrap papers from um, this paper pad and here I'm having a hard time trying to figure out how I want to um, cut this. This is just the little band of that you see in the top corner and then sticking out the side. My cluster in the bottom is my photo cluster is a whole lot bigger because um, I don't cut down the picture at all because I don't want to cut off Bigfoot's uh, head or toes and I do add that second picture because it shows a close-up of um, our arrows so yeah but it's okay and my paper is a lot smaller so if it was a 12 by 12 I think it would have yeah had more space but that's okay I, <laughs> I really like the way it turns out it's really cute and it's colorful and um, yeah, 
So um, I decided I needed to bring that banner all the way across on the bottom. Um, and I got the these three flowers are also cut out from um, one of those uh, papers in the same paper pad. So they uh, coordinate well. My happy is... Um, I was thinking about leaving it this yellow color, but I end up uh, changing my mind later on. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and back both of these um, pictures and some of the um, scraps from this paper pad. And um, my big um, paper trimmer is dull. I need to... Um, change the blade out and I bought blades for it I don't know where I put them so I have to find those blades so if I can I use my little trimmer here um, it just um, it's a lot sharper so it's a lot better cut so I um, get those backed and I'll start kind of putting everything together on um, this doily in the background and that's going to kind of help everything um, give it all a foundation so that I can still move that when I'm getting ready to put the mixed media that is drying on. So I am going to play with this and move things around and get some stuff stuck down and while I'm doing that I want to tell you I'm going to have two different um, links uh, groups of links down below one for um the scrap five challenge and one for the 30 days of sketches and these are both amazing hops you should check everybody out that is playing with both of them they are so much fun um i love the scrap five it's it's been so much fun to do each month and um this one was no exception so I do, sorry about my hat getting in the way, I do get all five um, things on here. I almost forget the ribbon, but I remember it. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to be uh, trying to get everything down. I stick to the sketch very, very closely. I think it's a really cute sketch. I think she did a great job on it. And, um... Yeah, so I am going to um, follow it very closely. I think these colors and this pattern paper work great because it was a nice, warm, almost hot day. And so um, it worked out perfect for these bright, cheerful summer colors. So I don't know where I went. Oh, I found these stickers. I used these stickers on the other page, um, the double page spread of the same bow shoot. So um, I grabbed them out again and we had to use five or more stickers. So I use more. I think I end up like with seven or eight stickers on here. And I just love the, the way that they turned out and they looked. Um, and I just love these bright colors too. So I'm getting them all down here. So, so far I have the technique that kind of is intimidating, which is drying right now. And it worked out so well. I'm going to have to do it some more. But, um, and then I have the stickers going on. So I'm uh, slowly getting everything for the scrap five. Um, I keep disappearing. Oh, I'm just popping up some of the stuff onto some foam. Some of the stickers up onto some foam dots here. Um, I think I poke up the two butterflies uh, to give the page a little bit of movement. And I think that butterfly ends up moving though. So I, I don't think I leave it there. And then I do end up uh, putting the two full flowers onto some foam too that way because there's a lot of paper going in this um, layout and so 
I do um, want to bring in some different texture and dimension. And so the foam definitely brings in the different um, dimension. So getting that here down. And I do believe this video actually ends up being a little longer than most of my videos. And that was just because of the mixed media in the beginning, I think. Um, and I probably could have cut some of this um, out of me, um, yeah, gluing everything down. Um, yeah, so I'm sorry if this is a little, I know there's a lot of... Um, videos right now and I know for me I rather have short videos so I can try to see everybody's so I will try to keep all my rest of my videos um, a little shorter all right here's where I'm popping up the butter this top butterfly yeah I was trying to do it all down on the page but it was not working so I ended up just pulling it off and popping up the wing, wings that way Okay, I just made this layout yesterday and I can't think of, oh, here's where I decided to bring in that ribbon. Actually, I looked at my list and I'm like, oh, whoops. So I'm just bringing in this Rick Rack ribbon here and on the um, sketch, it has a little uh, scalloped edge that goes down below the, or over top of the picture. And um, I'm not going to go over my picture. I'm going to go under the picture. But it does bring in that same look with it being um, the Rick Rack. So I get this all glued down. And then I put it underneath and realized that um, it's making my picture very bumpy. So I cut that section out. Because that picture is not up on phone film. If it had been... Um, it would have been fine, but um, with it not being, I figured I didn't want a lumpy, bumpy picture. So I just take that out. Now, gluing down the um, flowers, get them all stuck down. And now I have three really cute clusters. And um, the next thing in the um, on the list was wood pieces. So I grabbed these little stars and they're from um chadney's etsy shop and i love these little stars i have a whole package of them and they're just so cute so many different sizes and i picked like the middle size and i think two of them are open and one is um closed but they worked perfect for um just adding that little bit of scattering and but it also filled the prompt all right so <laughs> i decided to color in my happy my title and um as i was doing it i ripped it so but it's okay it all glues right back down so i color it in the orange um because i want it to blend in with the same papers but where the yellow was standing out just a little too much um the orange blends into that flower a little more it's really hard to read on camera but in person it looks really good I really like it and that's all my title is going to be is just happy um I think it's kind of funny because poor Bigfoot is not happy he has a very grumpy face on but both my kids are happy <laughs> so here's where I bring back that um mixed media page I did and I, uh, it's all dry now. It did not take too long to dry. And so I am just um, marking where I had the lines um, drawn on the background. And I'm going to just, yeah, tear it. Using my 18 inch ruler, I tear it and I'm just gonna stick it right underneath and Nothing here is glued down except for on the white part where I had the lines and I knew that was going to stay white. So get that in, get it all glued down. And I do end up coming in later um, and gluing that whole thing, um, the whole 
photo cluster down to the mixed media, but I just don't do it on camera. I figured it was fine. And, um, you, you mean, no one needs to see me glue every single thing down. That would make a very long, uh, video. <laughs> so, but here's where I put the top piece and, um, yeah, get this little cluster glued down there. And I think that turned out really cute. I believe, I don't believe I had anything else to it. I think I got everything. I'm kind of checking my list, um, making sure I have everything from the, um, scrap five and I do. So that's where I'm going to call this layout done. Here are the close-ups. Thank you so much for watching. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. Bye.